Hello and welcome to our 8th episode of our how-to series on Football Manager 22. I hope you're all having a great day. In this episode I show you how to dive further into the pre-game editor by using the advanced rules for competitions. We will first start with, as requested by one of our viewers, how to change the sub allowance in a match or squad selection. We will then go into some other areas like prize money, changing some dates and parachute payments. If you wish to watch more amazing videos like this one and further content from Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. Right, we've loaded up editor. We are now going to show you how to get to the advanced rules. So the first thing you need to do is go to rules up on the top left. Click on add nation rules and now we're selecting our nation. So this obviously applies to what you want to change. In this example, we're going to change England and I would advise to add lower divisions and cups to existing structure as well. And then we click on finish. And now what this does is this opens up that we can do some basic stuff in here and we can add some divisions within our nation or cups, change some settings in our reserve leagues which actually it's all blanked out. So not that much stuff you can really, really do. So what you want to do now is that it's clear that this isn't enough for what we want to do and it's not bringing enough to change subs. So what you want to do is go to rules and go to convert to advanced rules. And they do say, are you sure you want to edit these rules in advanced mode? This option allows extra settings to be changed in for rules, but there are fewer validation checks. You can revert back to basic rules at a later stage if required. That's fine. We, we kind of know what we want to do. I've tested the areas I'm talking today and to be fair, they, they work fine. We're not going to go too complicated. I mean, we're not going to create a whole new structure. Maybe that's another video to do. So let's get straight to it. From this drop down, pick your league. I'm going Premiership. So from the English Premier Division default, you want to go down to Stages, Stage 0 League, and then down to League Settings. So from league settings, we scroll down and look for substitution rules. We found it three from nine. So for request was, how do we actually change it to five from nine? And obviously we scroll down, find what you want really. You don't have to do five from nine. You could go full maxed out. So if we go five from nine and done. So what else can we change? We can change, there's loads of things. Points for a win, three points. Change it to five. Change that to two for a draw. Then prize money. It could be a fun one of doing well, actually. If your teams play there, maybe like if you get in that survival spot and just miss out of getting relegated, maybe you could give them 20 million. Give them, you know, well done. Well done for not getting relegated. Here you go. Here's 20 million. I don't know. It's just something silly, right? And then if you get top place, if you win it, you should get much more money. That should really be like, you are champions of the league, right? I mean, come in second place, you get two million pounds less. Nah, uh, 50 million. There you go, much more money if you win for the league. If you just scrape relegation, you get 20 million. And if you get relegated, maybe this should be... Actually, why should you get prize money for finishing in relegation, right? Very harsh indeed. Maybe a break for a club, but... But that's where we now move on to the next bit of parachute payments. What you need to do on that is go back down to the left selection and then go to promotion and relegation and then from here up top and i won't scroll down the bottom but as you can see parachute money declare for cash given to teams relegated from this competition in the form of parachute payments cash 41 million number of years three number of years for new teams two so is that 41 million a year or is that 41 million across three years or two years I don't know, we would have to look into that one. But this is where you set it. So to be fair, you might actually go, why is it, Why do we want to do that? You know what, we just change this to one and go, well, you can have 60, uh, 50 million. But should they be getting that anyway? I mean, we've just given the team who's just missed out of being relegated 20 million. So actually, to be fair, we, get, we give you a top up. We give you 15 million so that you don't go too out of business, but you have to change some bits and just see how they go. I think 41 million spread over the years, so it's not that far off it. 
But again, it gives me full control of what I want my leagues to look like. And then from this, promotion and relegation, obviously you can block teams from being promoted. You can allow B teams to be promoted into that. So that would be like Spanish divisions, or you might want to set up all like for top teams like Man City, maybe set them up with a B team, but obviously they can't be promoted to the Premier Division, just like Barcelona B, as an example. What's next on my list? Maybe if we go back to general, just to see what we can do here. So this is uh, where you can set your date range, start season July in May, and then obviously configure your future list for you. So more money, more money. So you can set out your initial TV money. So at the moment, lists of cash fat is given to teams at the start of the league stage. So every team gets 80 million at the start of the season. So you might want to change that. You might want to go, actually, how about the ITV situation? where clubs actually ended up getting no money because something went wrong there. I can't remember the details of it. It really messed Chef Wednesday up because obviously they brought players and budgeted based on what money they was going to receive. They didn't receive the money and that really, really screwed them up. So you could actually go, well, actually, if we don't receive any TV revenue, how will teams survive on just sponsorship? No TV revenue and just go zero. I mean, you got TV money for a match. So you get 2.3 million. Again, you might say, actually, you don't get a you don't get a full payout. You just get it per match, and you could increase that up. You could go, actually if your t if your money is up, uh, shown live on TV, we're going to give you more money. We'll give you 10 million. Qualification rules. So relegation rules. Number of relegation places. So if you actually want people in Premiership to get relegated, you can change that. Yeah, but obviously you need to make sure that adheres to the championship and go to a championship and make sure that they've got the promotion rules put in place for top playoff. What I've just shown you today, you can do that, as I said, at a nation level. Nation level is going to be very different to competition level. But as you can see, all the competitions for England is listed here. And if whatever changes you make and you want it to flow within for other leagues, you will need to go into every single one and change that. So for instance, FA Cup with the subs, you might want uh, for allowance to be bigger in competitions as well as in for league, you will need to go into those competitions. For one thing I did notice in for nation that you can do, uh, whereas in for competitions you can't, disciplinary rules. So in disciplinary rules, as you can see, if I go here, yellow cards points rules so type yellow cards say 5 10 15 so 5 you get banned for 1 10 2 15 3 makes sense for that yellow cards points ban rules ban start immediate ban for all competitions with this disciplinary rule red cards uh, games banned 1 serious red card offense rules decision date next week banned for all competitions and nation if you get red card, you get banned for free. Serious, obviously a decision gets made. Um, and then obviously you can get banned for more. Interesting. And that's it. Like, so that kind of goes to what have you required. Also, it just gives you a bit more of what you can kind of do with this pre-game editor. Pretty much everything. And also, just like a viewer has done of what has driven me to make this video, if you don't know how to do something in Football Manager, let me know. If it's an easy response, I will comment back. Right, I hope this helped you. If it did, give it a like. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.